You did it. He said, I didn't think you'd be crazy enough to actually do it. <laughs> But um, I also like to show the movies to audiences ahead of time. Preview audiences, they fill out cards, they explain what they like and what they don't like, and sometimes it surprises me and I can go back and make some changes. So it's, sometimes it can be very helpful. But with Apollo 13, it always tested very well. People really liked it. So one night we had this screening, before it was released, before there was any publicity, and it's almost all positive. You know, everybody liked it and, or loved it. I looked at these 400 cards and there was one that said poor. So of the 400 cards, which one did I find first? <laughs> the one that said poor. And it was, a, it was this Caucasian 23-year-old male. I don't know his name. I never was. That's who he was. And he didn't like it. Poor, negative, wouldn't recommend it. Uh, and finally, I couldn't figure out why. I flipped over the back and there was a question about the ending. And um, it, it, it said, uh, please tell us what you think of the ending. And he said, terrible. More Hollywood bullshit. <laughs> they would never survive. <laughs> and of course, they didn't, he didn't know it was a true story. And I realized this is the power and the value of true stories, is you can actually find stories that are so extreme in their drama or in their, in their bizarreness. And if you bring that to life, you have license to do it and explore it fully because no audience member can tell you bullshit. Uh, you know, you are coming from a place of, uh, of truth. I didn't sign on to steal into God knows what! Coon meant a lot to me in my career, uh, and I learned a great deal um, making that. Uh, Beautiful Mind uh, was uh, sort of a culmination uh, you know, of a lot of things, and, uh, and I learned a great deal about minimalism uh, and the power of that in, uh, in Frost Nixon. Uh, so I'm not sure those are necessarily my five personal favorites, but those are five that came to mind with, that probably meant the most in my career. I saw Stephen again, and he said, so what did you do about the way was this? I said, well, I used your idea. I went to NASA, we did it, we bolted our sets down, we went up, we did the parabolas, we all got a little bit sick, we got these shots, 15 seconds at a time, weightlessness, and he said, I did it. You did it. He said, I, I didn't think you'd be crazy enough to actually do it. So that was a, that was a, a one story of, of uh, sort of uh, experimenting with the problem solving in a way that was very gratifying because it worked out okay. I won't tell you about all the failures. 